Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a quick video on how to download WinWire for Windows 10. It's free and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here by opening up an internet browser of your choosing. I'm going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Edge. Once you have it open, you need to go out to this URL address and this is warlab.com forward slash download dot htm and I will leave this URL address in my video description so that it's easily uh, convenient for you to access. Now once on this um, page here for um, WarLab by the way that's who puts out WinWar um, you get a choice here, a lot of choices actually. Um, down here you can choose to download the beta version of WinWire if you like, if you're already familiar with it and um, you feel that uh, you don't mind having um, a beta version that might be a little buggy or it might crash on you or whatever. Um, however, um, a better way to go if you're not familiar with WinWire and you like to use it and or a stable version um, on your computer um, then you can choose one of these uh, the current version that is stable and is running and it's version 5.40 and before we go any further I just want to mention that um, WinWire is also available for um, you know your um, Android on uh, Google Play um, also as well and for Linux as well as Mac OS and uh, so there's um, some variety of systems um, operating systems that you can use WinWire on so take advantage of it if you like um, in any case this is a download for Windows 10 on uh, your computer system in my case this is a uh, Windows 10 laptop that I'm using and I'm going to download um, my language which is English and I'm going to choose 64-bit version. Now the question may or may not pop up in your head, well should I download the 32-bit or the 64-bit? There's a really easy way to figure that out. We go down to the start menu on Windows 10 and we right click and that opens up the hidden uh, menu and we move up and click on system and when you do that opens up the system information window within Windows 10 and once it's open you can scroll down and right down here it says system type and in my case it says 64-bit operating system um, x64 um, base processor so the version of WinWar that I'm going to download on my uh, Windows 10 laptop computer here is going to be 64-bit. In all likelihood, um, if you're running Windows 10, you're more than likely running um, the 64-bit version, but you may be running the 32-bit, and in that case, you would download the 32. All right, um, once you determine this, you go ahead and click on the 64-bit, and in Microsoft Edge, I get this prompt down below here that says, what do you want to do with WinWAR-X64-540.exe? And I get uh, three choices, run, save, or cancel. Um, to make things run quickly, I'm going <laughs> to, no pun in, intended, I'm going to click on run. And that downloads WinWAR very quickly and then it runs a little security scan for me that doesn't take too long depends on the speed and performance of your laptop computer and once that's completed I can go ahead and minimize or close that out one or the other um, I chose to minimize it but you can close um, the internet browser out at this point and it opens up the um, WinWar installation uh, GUI interface here and the first prompt is um, gives you some information and this is um, very important this is a trial version of WinWar anyone may use it and what's really cool and good about this is and that I like a lot is that um, 
it's not a three day or a five day or you know limited um abilities or you know it's not a crippled version to use for x number of days this is a fully working version and you get to use it for 40 days not 10 15 20 or 30 so you get a um a really good length of time to determine if you like it or not and um, believe me you will like it it works superbly and uh, I'm pretty sure that you'll turn out uh, wanting to purchase it okay um, once you have read through this um, information here and the um, agreement you know, on the ins instructions and license agreement there you go ahead and click on install and depending again on the speed and performance of your uh, computer system this could take a couple of seconds to you know a couple of minutes for the extraction process to complete and once it done uh, once it's done um, you get uh, this next window here which allows you to toggle some default settings on and off um, I like to leave them all um, sitting on the defaults. It works for me. Um, you can go through here if you like and decide whether or not you may or may not want a particular, you know, file extension to be associated with WinWAR. But um, I like to have them all associated, um, except for the ISO, and that's just uh, I think it works for me. So once you've decided uh, what you want, go ahead and click on OK and um, it happens really quick and uh, it now tells me that WinWAR has been successfully installed to the folder uh, on my C drive program file slash WinWAR within Windows 10 and then I get some options I can read the help uh, file view the license I can actually order from here also if I want to go ahead and go ahead and purchase this before the 40-day trial is up or I can go to their home page and uh, download something else. All right, it says thank you, and I'm going to click on done. And uh, once you do click on done, it opens up the file manager within Windows 10 and uh, takes you directly where the uh, WinWAR application was installed. And in this case, it was the program data slash Microsoft slash Windows slash start menu slash program slash WinWAR. Um, on my C drive and um, it does not put a short uh, you know a uh, shortcut on your desktop however if you are one of those individuals um, who like to have a short um, you know a shortcut um, on your desktop for your apps that you have installed on your computer for convenience you can always select WinWAR here and uh, drag move and drop it right on your desktop and uh, now you have a shortcut on your desktop and we can close this out now keep in mind you don't need this desktop uh, because WinWAR will automatically by default um, extract those files um, that uh, you need to have extracted um, once you um, are in the process of uh, attempting to use them and uh, if you want to do it manually, you can certainly click on the uh, desktop here, uh, shortcut. All right, um, that's about it, except for one last thing. If you don't want WinWAR shortcut um, on your desktop, you can always right-click um, on that. And you can actually go ahead and say pin to taskbar. And when you do that, it locates it self down on the taskbar within Windows 10 and you could basically clean up your desktop a little bit if you like. That's the end of this video. Um, I do recommend WinWAR. It works great and uh, I like it a lot. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.